Hello, you're very welcome to this English vocabulary lesson on doctors. Let's dive right in and have a look at the lesson plan for today's video. So first up, what you need to know is that you'll be learning all about the different types of doctors and their names in English. And of course, this is Learning English Pro, so you'll be learning lots of essential vocabulary relating to each type of doctor. And with this key vocabulary comes essential context. Learn lots of history and important information about the different types of doctors you will learn in this lesson. So it promises to be a really exciting and interesting lesson for you today. So if you're ready, sit back, relax, and let's learn some English on doctors together. Our first type of doctor is a general practitioner. Now this is the British English general practitioner. It can also be shortened to just GP. GP. Now this might be more commonly known as a family doctor or your local doctor. In American English it is commonly referred to as a medical doctor and this role can also be referred to in American English as a physician. So let's move on and have a look at some additional information and context for a physician or a GP. The area of medicine they work in is known as general medicine. And did you know the earliest documentation for a formal hospital with physicians that treated patients comes from the 5th century BC in Sri Lanka? Hippocrates, who lived from 460 to 377 BC, is commonly called the father of medicine. He is thought to be one of the first physicians to treat disease as being a result of natural rather than supernatural causes. And because of him, we have the Hippocratic Oath, which is an oath of ethics historically taken by physicians. In its original form, it requires a new physician to swear to uphold specific ethical standards. Okay, it's time to move on to our next type of doctor, which is a pediatrician. Repeat after me, pediatrician. So what does a pediatrician do? A pediatrician is a medical doctor who manages overall health for children from birth until age 18. And the area of medicine is called pediatric medicine. And the very first pediatric hospital was opened in Paris, France in 1802. Let's move on to our next type of doctor, a neurologist. Repeat after me, neurologist. Neurologists are specialists who treat diseases of the brain and spinal cord, peripheral nerves and muscles. And the field that a neurologist works in is called neurology. Neurologists treat serious conditions like stroke, Alzheimer's disease and multiple sclerosis. Our next doctor type is a dermatologist. Repeat after me, dermatologist. And of course, a dermatologist works in the area of dermatology. A dermatologist is a doctor who specializes in conditions involving the skin, hair and nails. A dermatologist can identify and treat more than 3000 conditions. These conditions include eczema, psoriasis and skin cancer, among many others. Next up we have anesthesiologist. This one's quite tricky. Anesthesiologist. Let's try it one more time. Anesthesiologist. An anesthesiologist works in the area of anesthetics. This provides treatments such as anesthesia, intensive care medicine, critical emergency medicine and pain medicine. Anesthesia is a state of controlled temporary loss of sensation or awareness that is induced for medical purposes. 
Our next medical doctor is a dentist. Repeat after me. Dentist. A dentist works in the area of dentistry. A dentist, also known as a dental surgeon, is a surgeon who specialises in dentistry, the diagnosis, prevention and treatment of diseases and conditions of the mouth. Have you ever thought about who the first dentist was? Heze Ra is the earliest dentist whose name is known to us. Around 2600 BC in ancient Egypt, he was known as the chief of dentists. Our next doctor type is an oncologist. Repeat after me, oncologist. An oncologist works in the area of oncology, but this is more commonly known as cancer treatment. These are doctors who treat cancer and provide medical care for a person diagnosed with cancer. In the area of oncology, there are three major areas, medical, surgical and radiation. An oncologist treats cancer using chemotherapy or other medications, such as immunotherapy. Let's move on to our next doctor type, a surgeon. Repeat after me, surgeon. A surgeon works in the area of surgery. And surgery is used to investigate or treat conditions such as disease or injury, to help improve bodily function, appearance, or to repair unwanted ruptured areas. If we look back in history, surgery in different forms has been performed by humans for thousands of years. The earliest evidence comes from over eight and a half thousand years ago. Let's move on to our next doctor, which is a cardiologist. Repeat after me, cardiologist. A cardiologist works in the area of cardiology and they are doctors who diagnose, assess and treat patients with diseases and defects of the heart and blood vessels. Let's take a moment to talk about the human heart. The average heart is the size of a fist in an adult. Your heart will beat about 115,000 times each day. It also pumps about 2,000 gallons of blood every day as well. Our next type of doctor is a radiologist. Repeat after me, radiologist. A radiologist works in the area of radiology and they are medical doctors that specialize in diagnosing and treating injuries and diseases using medical imaging procedures. Let's take a look at the types of imaging procedures. There are x-rays, computed tomography, which is also called a CT scan, magnetic resonance imaging, also called an MRI, positron emission tomography, PET, or an ultrasound. Let's move on to our final doctor of this lesson, a psychiatrist. Repeat after me, psychiatrist. These doctors work in the area called psychiatry. A psychiatrist can diagnose and prescribe medication to treat a variety of complex mental illnesses such as depression and bipolar disorder. In the area of psychiatry, a founding father of this medical field is Sigmund Freud. He was an Austrian neurologist and the founder of psychoanalysis, a clinical method for treating psychopathology through dialogue between a patient and a psychoanalyst. And with Freud, that brings us to the end of our English lesson on types of doctors. How did it go for you? I hope you really enjoyed it. And thank you for visiting my channel. I really appreciate your support. If you enjoyed this lesson, you'll really love my lesson on rocks, where you will learn all the different types of rocks and their pronunciation in English. Click the link on screen now to bring you directly to that video. 
And coming up on screen are even more video suggestions for you. And if you're still here, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel? Links for my social media are in the description below. That leaves me to say I hope you have a fantastic day. And remember, keep learning English like a pro.